Welcome, my friends. Um, this is your 60 minute uh, slow flow, prenatal friendly. Um, I did include some standing poses. There's not too many. Um, we won't be working with a sweat or anything, but we have a few standing poses, give us a little power. Um, but mostly we'll be pretty chill, holding poses for um, five, 10, 15 breaths. So to begin, um, if you're pregnant especially, but if you're not, you can grab blocks and blankets as well. We're gonna start reclined. So just make sure you have two pillows stacked. You want nice um, support on your back. The pillow closest to you is just about a finger width away from your tailbone, and you can lower it down. Make sure your head is supported. If you don't have the blocks or blankets and you're still okay lying on your back, you can just lie on your back, no problem. So once we're here, our feet, soles of our feet are on the ground. Or if you have two pillows or blankets, you can open your knees wide, support your outer thighs. So for me, I'm using blocks in this reclined butterfly pose. If this doesn't feel good, you can keep soles of feet on the ground, or even straighten your legs. So we'll be here for about two minutes. So I really want you to take a few moments, settle in, get comfortable, wherever you're going. When you feel nice and comfy, go ahead and close your eyes. Hands can be on your belly, they can rest alongside your body. As we lie here, start to notice your breath. Just the sensations of your inhales and exhales. Maybe start to try to deepen those inhales. Really paying attention to how your body feels as you expand. Keep your exhales nice, long, steady. See if you can get rid of all that breath. Feel your lungs completely empty. body be heavy, relax any tension from your face. Breathe. Take a moment to let go of everything that came before this. You're here, you made it. Give yourself the next 55 minutes on your mat to make space in your body, to breathe, to move. Take three more full deep breaths here. Go ahead, open your eyes. Bring your hands outside your knees if they're open in butterfly and gently close them like a book. Move any props you have by your legs to the side. Moving nice and slowly. Roll onto your left side. Take your time and gently, gently push yourself to seated. We meet with our legs crossed. You can meet here or feet together, you decide. 
take a moment here, hands on your knees, nice long spine. You can close your eyes. We'll just take a moment here to set an intention. In yoga, this helps keep our mind focused. When we start to wander off with our thoughts, we can come back to that intention we set. This could be something on the yoga mat, making space in our bodies, moving with grace. It could be something off the yoga mat, being a little more patient, a little more kind, maybe having a little more self-compassion. You decide. Good, open your eyes and gently start to make circles with your chest towards the right. So you feel your heart travel forward towards the left. Nice big circles towards the back, nice. Breathing into those hips, into that side body. Go ahead, travel the other way. Nice. Back to center, nice long spine. Drop your chin to your chest. Just take a moment here to breathe into that upper neck. Letting your shoulders drop away from your ears. Relax some tension from your shoulders. Move your chin towards your right shoulder. So stretching along that left side body. Hands can be on your knees or fingertips can drop by your hips. Chin comes back to center and towards the left. You move here through center to right. Moving with your breath. If something feels sticky, hang out there for a few. Take three more full deep breaths. back to center. Roll over your knees, coming to tabletop. So if your knees are feeling really sensitive, you can bring a blanket under them, you can fold your mat. Okay, from here, toes can be tucked or released. Shoulders, elbows, wrists stacked. One long line here. Moving through a few cow cats, drop your belly, gaze up. Holding here in our first cow. Really pulling our heart through our shoulders. Let that belly drop. Gaze can be straight forward, maybe reaching towards the ceiling. On your exhale, press the mat away. Nice round spine. Gaze towards your navel, between your knees. Whatever you can see. Inhale, drop your belly. Gaze up for cow. This time, look over your right shoulder towards your right hip, like you're making a C with your body, stretching into that left side. Hold. Back through center. Looking over that opposite shoulder towards your hip. Back through center. Coming to cat, really press the mat away. Big angry cat, like you feel a string pulling through the center of your back towards the sky. And move with your own breath through these cat cows. Maybe you want to add in hip circles, whatever feels good to you. Waking up that spine, those shoulders. Two more rounds of breath. And back to center. From here, bring toes touch, knees wide. So we're coming into child's pose. 
This is a good time to bring that pillow. If you have a belly, make sure you have space for it. You can bring your um, forearms on the pillow, right? Maybe your forehead rests as well. But get comfortable, we'll be here about two minutes. If this starts to hurt your hips or your knees, just come to sitting. If you're feeling really tight, you could bring a blanket or pillows underneath your knees and, and calves. Okay, so this just gives you a little more support. Settle in here. Big opening of your shoulders. Maybe your forehead rests on your pillow. Breathing here. Making space in those shoulders and your hips. about 30 more seconds. Slowly begin to bring the weight back into your hands, press the mat, and come to sit on your heels. Okay, from here we'll come to supported heroes. You could bring, um, you can just sit on your heels if that's comfortable. I like to bring a block or even a small pillow between my feet, so just to give my hips something to rest on. Both knees are pointing forward. Nice. Okay, from here. We'll get into our shoulders and wrist a bit. I'll face you so you can see me a bit better. So bringing our um, hands to grasp here, start to take some wrist circles. If you're newer to yoga, um, you're doing it more often lately. Those wrist bearing exercises take some strength to build in. Go ahead, go to the other side, same wrist circles. release those hands reach up nice and long from here really feeling your side body lengthen reach 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 palms press together and come back towards your heart okay from here hands at your center really pressing palms together let your shoulders open up nice press your palms towards your right shoulder keeping your shoulders facing center so for me I feel it's a big stretch in my right shoulder. Keep those elbows pointing to the side of the room. And back to center towards the left. Shoulders away from ears, really pressing palms together. Back to center, palms still pressing. Reach your fingers towards the sky, straighten those elbows, and hands alongside your body. From here, arms to a T. I'm mirroring you, so listen to my voice. Um, right arm up and over, left arm around your low back. So from here, maybe your fingertips touch, mine don't. You're just working on pointing this right elbow towards the sky. You can even bring this left hand on top of that left elbow if you want a little extra. But you're working your fingertips towards one another. You can grab onto your sports bra, your tank top. Breathing here. One more breath. And arms open up to a T. Nice. Opposite side. 
Left arm up and over. Your right fingertips come around. Option to bring that right hand to your left elbow. Just breathing into that shoulder. Keeping that chest nice and open. Breathing here for another three, two, and one. Release arms to a T. Give me some um, wrist circles one way, then the other. And then hands out in front, back to tabletop. Okay, now we do just a few standing postures. Go ahead, tuck those toes, walk your fingertips out just a bit. Send your hips high. So coming into down dog, this um, first one, we find some movement bending one knee than the other. If you have um, a belly, you can spread your feet as wide as your mat. Maybe your belly touches your thighs, maybe not. Just making space for it. You can give your head a little shake, yes, no. You can bend your knees if your calves, Achilles are feeling really tight. We're gonna breathe here for five full breaths. Seeing with each inhale, if you can really reach your hip bones towards the sky. With each exhale, your chest moves towards thighs, heels towards the earth. Breathe. From here, turn your heels in, toes out. Walk your hands towards your feet. We meet in Malasana. So hips come towards your heels. Nice transitions, you guys. Again, you can bring a block underneath your sits bones if you want a little support. You bring your elbows on the insides of your knees, pressing those knees over. So in Malasana, we have a nice long spine from crown of head to our tailbone. Breathing to those hips, getting the support if you need it. And we'll hold here another three breaths. Okay, from here, working our legs just a bit, pressing into our whole feet. Inhale, we rise, reaching up. Exhale, hands to our heart. Heel toe those feet hip width apart. Nice. From here, coming into mountain pose, let your hands drop by your sides. Maybe you close your eyes, <clears throat> really feeling your weight in all four corners of your feet. Engaging through your legs, super strong quads. Slight tuck of your tailbone to a flat low back. Neutral pelvis, shoulders drop away from ears, palms face forward, neck long. From here, inhale, reach those fingertips up nice and high. Exhale, hands behind your back, like you have, um, you're pointing your fingers towards the ground. You can bring your feet wider than hip width, a little extra balance if you want. Just a gentle standing back bend. So from here, we start to shift our hips forward, squeeze our elbows towards one another. For most of us, this is enough. We wanna feel this in our chest, not in our low back. Gaze is straight forward towards the sky. Breathing here for another three, two, and one, back to standing. Turn to face the long side of your mat, hands nice and high, reach up. 
And exhale, step wide, coming into star pose, both toes pointing towards the corners of your mat, fingertips reaching high. Big inhale. Exhale, give me a goddess. Bend your knees towards the outside. You can cactus your arms or bring them to the hips. Those legs are strong, nice job. Okay, from here we rise, star pose. And exhale, goddess. Nice, so strong. One more time, inhale. And goddess. This time, hands to our knees. Drop that right shoulder down. Be gentle, relaxing here. And drop that left shoulder down. Big opening. Back to center. Go ahead, straighten those legs, rise. Big inhale. Exhale, bend into your right knee, point your toes forward, coming into warrior two. We won't be in warrior two for very long, but super good hip opener. We're opening our right knee towards our second big, our second toe on our right foot. Really rooting through the outer edge of that left foot. Gaze over our right middle fingers. One big breath here. Inhale, rise back through star. Both toes point out. On your exhale, warrior two, other side, flowing here. Hold. Bending into your left knee. This is just a little bit of leg work. Gaze over that left middle finger. Inhale, rise. This time, hands to hips. Point your toes to the side of the room or a little pigeon toe. Keeping a nice flat spine, we slowly lower down halfway. You could bend your knees a bit. Once you get about halfway, hands to earth, wide-legged fold. Play with your feet. They can be wider apart or closer together. You can bring your hands onto blocks or some sort of support. We're breathing into that back body. If you have space, you could think about bringing the crown of your head to the earth. Maybe not. Maybe you stay on your hands or fingertips. Breathing here. We have another three breaths. on the earth. Inhale onto your fingertips. Nice long spine gaze forward. On your exhale, pivot towards your right foot. Hands inside that right foot. Coming into lizard. So go ahead, drop that left knee. Heel toe right foot towards the corner of your mat. So in lizard, it's going to be really intense on our knees. I like to bring my hands on blocks or pillows. We're getting into that left hip. Maybe you feel it right hip flexor. So we'll be here about a minute, my eyes on the clock. You can roll onto the outer edge of your right foot if that feels better. You can even keep this back knee lifted. It's up to you, you decide. Settle in, making space. One more breath here. If you're not already, 
come onto your hands. Really pressing into the mat. Bend your left knee, work your left heel towards your bum. Okay, this is a lot for me. You can reach around to grab your foot or ankle, or you can stay both hands on the ground, just working your heel towards your bum. Super strong hamstrings. We're holding here for five, four, three, two, release. Frame your right foot. So heel toe it back to the center of your mat. Straighten your right leg, coming into half split. So in this half split, a couple options. You can stay lifted, <clears throat> maybe on blocks or water bottles, just gently folding over this right leg. If it's more comfortable, you can sit on your left heel, bringing a block or a pillow under your right bum, and stay this way, stay lifted. Maybe you lean forward a bit. If you decide though, take a moment. Nice. I'm just trying to get into that hamstring. Maybe you keep your knee bent. Breathing here. Maybe you bring your heart a little closer to your knee. Slowly bend back into that right knee. From here, hands come to hips, coming into a low lunge. If your left knee's hurting, you can bring some uh, blanket underneath it. Option is stay hands on hips, or bring arms to a T. Sweeping left arm under right, option to come to ankle arms. If this isn't accessible, grab your shoulder, same benefits here. Okay, so whether you have your shoulders or you're double wrapping for your palms, we're reaching those elbows forward. If you have eagle arms, you're reaching your fingertips towards the sky. Nice job, you guys. Big inhale, gaze up, little back bend here. Hold. One more breath. Inhale, release those arms. Hands are each nice and high. From here, cactus your arms to heart towards the sky. Inhale, fingertips reach high. And exhale, frame your front foot. Raise your back knee as gracefully as possible. Step it back, a down dog. <clears throat> Again, make space, feet mat width apart. Maybe you sway side to side. Finding a movement that feels good to you. Okay, from here, we'll do that one more time. Going into our left leg this time. So, heels in, toes out to walk feet to hands. Drop down the lasana squat. You bring a block under a sacrum. Hands to heart center. Maybe you need to stay a little lifted. Two more breaths here. Slowly pressing into your feet, we rise all the way up. Exhale, hands by your side, mountain pose. One breath here. This time, turning to face the other side of your mat, opposite way. Inhale, hands high. And exhale, step it out, arms to a T. From here, toes out, heels in, fingertips high, star pose. Exhale, goddess. Two more times. Inhale, rise. And exhale, goddess. 
One more time we rise. Last goddess. Maybe find a little more space, rocking side to side. For another three, two, and one, hands to knees. Drop left shoulder down, big twist. Drop right shoulder down. From here, coming back up. Toes facing side of the room, a little pigeon toe. You can keep your hands at hips or arms to a T, nice long spine. Exhale, forward fold. When you get about halfway down, drop your hands towards the mat. Again, using blocks under your hands, bring the floor a little closer. Maybe you want to drop the crown of your head towards the mat. Breathing here. Take another five breaths, really making space. Inhale, halfway lift onto your fingertips. Exhale, pivot forward. This time, left foot coming to the left corner of your mat. Hands inside that foot. Your version of lizard, you can release these back toes. You can bring your hands under blocks, excuse me, on top of blocks, like I like to do. You can roll onto the outer edge of your left foot if that feels nice. You decide, settle in. We'll be here one minute, making space in those hips. Seeing if you could soften where you feel really tight, releasing tension. One more breath, coming onto your hands if you're not already. From here, you can stay right where you're at, or you can reach your right heel towards your bum. This should not hurt your knee. If it does, release that right foot. Squeezing heel towards the bum, strong hamstring. Maybe you reach that right hand back and around. You can just work on a squeezing motion here for another five. Four, three, two, and release. Heel toe that front foot back to center, half split. Release this left leg long. You decide where you're going. Maybe you stay lifted, left foot flex. Maybe you sit on your right heel, support under your left cheek. Breathing over this left leg. Whatever is more comfortable, more accessible today. Breathe here. Taking two more full deep breaths. Bending 
back into that left knee. Hands come to hips, slow lunge. You can reach your fingertips high. Breathing into that right hip flexor. Option to stay here. Option to bring arms to a T. Sweep right arm under left. Eagle arms this side. Grab your shoulders if that feels better. Big stretch, opening of that upper back. Inhale, reach fingertips or elbows towards the sky. Open your heart, back bend here. Breathe. Inhale, back to center, release those arms high. And exhale, hips forward, last back bend here. Inhale, fingertips high. Exhale, plant your hands, tuck your back toes, step it back to down dog. This is our last down dog. We'll breathe here for five breaths. Breathing into those calves, maybe your feet, your ankles. Gently bring your knees to the mat. Sit on those heels. Okay. We'll come into just one camel. Um, if you are pregnant, this is totally safe, comfortable. Maybe not comfortable. Totally safe back bend. Um, we want to make sure it stays comfortable. So go ahead, tuck those toes to sit on your heels. Just take a moment here, stretching out the soles of your feet. So a few options. You could come to stand on your knees. Hands tuck into those back pockets. So this is already camel. If this doesn't feel stable, maybe release your feet. You decide what feels better. From here, we're squeezing our elbows together. If we had a mirror in front of us, we try to work our elbows so that we couldn't see them in the mirror, okay? Pause right here. Maybe this is our full camel today. Take a moment. If you want to go a little bit more, you can shift your hips forward, trace a nice straight line right in front of you towards the ceiling. Those hands are providing a lot of support in your low back. Your gaze can reach high. Maybe it drops back, listen to your body. Whatever your camel looks like today, we hold here for five breaths. Big, big heart opener. Keep breathing. One more breath. And release. Come to sit on your heels. Palms up. Close your eyes. Sit with any sensations, emotions. Sometimes camel brings up some nausea, some dizziness, just a moment here. Okay, go ahead, open your eyes. Bring those legs around. <clears throat> We're gonna come into some seated stretches. Um, if you have a like a pillow or something that you could comfortably just elevate your hips a bit on. We just want to tip our pelvis so that it's tipping downward, okay? So just slightly elevating and bring the soles of our feet together. I'm actually going to use my bigger pillow. Okay. So coming into butterfly, if you have two small pillows or blocks, again, give yourself that support. You can use blankets. Makes it a lot more comfortable to hang out here for a few breaths. Let your spine be nice and long. Breathing here, maybe you close your eyes. If you want more, you can lean your heart forward towards your feet. But I'm just gonna hang out here, my spine nice and upright. 
You decide whatever feels good today. two more breaths here. Remove those blocks, extend your left leg long, the sole of your right foot inside your thigh. Okay, so you can bring some support inside your extended calf. This right arm comes up and over, left hand comes to rest inside, that extended leg, or maybe right on top of. We're trying to breathe into this right side body, kind of like a ballerina stretch. So our gaze can be up towards that right hand or towards our foot. See so if you can really open your chest. Think about reaching a little further. Breathing here. Give me another three, two, and one. We slowly rise. Extend both legs out long. Feet flex just as much as you're comfortable. Nice long spine here and gently lean forward, just until you feel some sensation. Maybe you can reach your arms out long, come onto your forearms, you decide. Keep those feet flexed, helps protect your knees. back to your body if your mind's wandering. And slowly coming back to center. This time bringing your left sole of your foot inside your right leg. We'll take this side stretch on the other side. So left hand on your knee, shin, ankle. Maybe your forearm rests on a block. Opposite hand up and over. So this top hand, your top left hand, reaching long, really opening your chest towards the front. Letting your left hip be heavy, making a little more space in that side body. Breathing here for another three, two, and one. Back to center. Nice, both legs long. Flowing a little bit here, arms to a T. Drop your left hand down, come to the left. And using those obliques, come back through center. Right hand down, come to the right. We're just gonna flow through this a few times. Keep that, you know, core nice and strong. A little side body movement. Nice, you guys. Beautiful. Take two more rounds on each side. About one more on each side for me. And back to center. Beautiful. Soles of your feet on the earth. Okay, take a moment, come to the center of your mat. Move any blocks or props out of the way, but keep them accessible. 
We're gonna bring the soles of our feet onto the mat and gently lower down. Go ahead, help yourself down onto your back. Your feet stay on the mat, knees pointing towards the sky. We're gonna hang out in restorative bridge. So for this, you want some sort of prop under your sacrum so your hips are elevated a bit. For me, I'm gonna use a block. You can use a blanket that's rolled up. You can use a pillow. Whatever it is, you wanna feel stable, okay? So that flat part of your low back has something to rest on. We're elevating our hips just a bit. Maybe hands rest on your belly. Maybe they come by your side. Pause here, maybe you close your eyes. We'll be here for about a minute. If this doesn't feel good, you can always roll over onto your side. From here, we're going to come into the legs of the wall. If you have a wall close by and you want to actually use that wall for support, you're more than welcome. Keeping this block or a pillow underneath you, bring your knees towards your chest, so nice bent knees. Maybe this feels good here, you keep your knees bent. Maybe you begin to straighten your legs. Feeling supported, stable here. Hands can be by your sides. You flex and point your toes. Eventually finding stillness. Letting the blood rush from your legs towards your heart. You pause here. This is a great restorative pose. See if you could deepen your breath here. Take another five breaths. When you're ready, bend your knees, bring soles of feet back to the earth, gently release that prop from underneath your back. Feet are mat width apart, and gently drop your knees towards the right. This is a gentle spinal twist. You can keep your gaze up, or cactus your arms, gaze to the left, completing that twist. Breathe here. Gaze back to the sky. Knees come through center and drop to the left. Gaze can come to the right and breathe. Back to center. 
Taking one more breath here. Just feet on the earth, knees gently rocking side to side, massaging that low back. Preparing for our Shavasana. So you decide if you're still comfortable lying on your back, you can bring a blanket over you. Cuddle up in Shavasana. Maybe you want to come onto your left side, your head on a pillow, maybe a pillow between your knees. Supported here. We'll be here for three minutes. So you decide three minutes have not started. You settle in. Maybe take a moment, put on a good song, a blanket, some socks. You can also bring a pillow underneath your knees if you're on your back, legs extended. Gives you a little support. Wherever you're at, settle in, close your eyes, take up space. Lying here, letting go of your breath, taking a little body scan, this time starting at our feet. Letting your feet relax, feel heavy. Moving up our shins, our knees, calves relax. Thighs relax. Letting your hips feel heavy. Moving up to your belly, chest, and shoulders. Arms, wrists, and hands melt into the mat. Release any tension from your face, your tongue, from the roof of your mouth. Reaching the crown of your head. Feeling your whole body release, be heavy. Let go of your breath. Release the sound of my voice. I'll call you back when it's time. Start to find some very gentle movements. Maybe your fingers, toes, your face. Feel your breath deepen, return. If you're not already, roll onto your left side. We all meet here. Check in with your body, see how you feel. Very gently, we press ourselves up to seated. Legs crossed. This time, bringing one hand to our heart, one hand to our belly. Close your eyes. 
feeling your breath move through your body. Deep in your inhales and exhales. Letting go of whatever doesn't serve you. More breaths here, sinking deep in on your exhales, filling your lungs completely empty. Maybe pausing at the bottom. come to the center of your forehead. Give yourself a little massage to the right, a little massage to the left. Thank you so much for your time, your effort, your movement and breath. The light in me honors the light in each of you. Namaste.